Resolution of Forces, number 8. This time, apparently, we have a card. Notice the brilliant drawing of the card with a mass of 900 kilograms, which seems to have a brakes fail and then roll down a hill 50 meters. The hill angle is 15 degrees. Gravity is 9.8 because nobody's mentioned this happening on Venus, so it's going to happen on the Earth. Rule of thumb, unless somebody mentions something happening on a different planet, it happens on the Earth. Gravity is 9.8. So, first thing that we would always work out in a scenario like this is the component of the weight parallel to the slope. That's our mg sine theta again. So that's going to be 900 times 9.8 times the sine of 15 degrees, which should give us 2,300 newtons. Now, before we go any further, this is another one of those questions where only having one sig fig there can cause problems later on. That is your answer rounded to two sig figs. You could round it to 2,280, which would be two uh, significant figures. Sorry, three significant figures. That would still be fine. What your calculator's probably given you is 2,282.78 newtons. If you write that down, you've just written down six significant figures, which is far too many, and it's going to get marked wrong. And I don't care what the calculator says. That's how physics works. Two extra significant figures. We've only got one significant figure in that number, so we should only have three at most in this number. So 2,280 would be fine. 2,300 would be fine. Remarkably enough, 2,000 would be fine. But, you know, that's not very useful. So 2,300 or 2,380. Now, having got that, we can work out the acceleration down the slope, which is what A part 2 is after. That's going to be the unbalanced force over the mass that's going to be the 2300 minus 300 over 900 kilograms. And that's going to give something in the vicinity of 2.2 meters per second squared. Little thing I noticed, if you round that 2280, I think you get exactly 2.2 there. So that's probably what the person that wrote the question was doing when they worked it out. Anyway, part C. What was the speed of the car by the time it hit the hedge at the bottom of the slope? That's where we're going to use equations of motion. V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. V squared equals... Well, it started from rest because the brakes failed. Therefore, it had to be bro brake, brake, does that word? The car had to be on the hill with the brakes applied. At that point, it's not moving. Then the brakes fail, then the car starts rolling down the hill. So it starts from rest, zero squared, plus two times the acceleration that we worked out in A part two, times the displacement to 50 meters, which means that V is going to be equal to 14.8 meters per second. Now this is the right answer, but as I've written it here, if I got that in an exam to mark, I'd mark it wrong. Why would I mark it wrong? Because I've said v squared equals, v squared equals, equals. I'm trying to say v squared equals that. v squared doesn't equal that. If you work it out, v squared equals 220, v equals 14.8 meters per second. Make sure you write things down properly. 